Just a few seconds spent in a forest and you'll begin to realise just how biodiverse and how much life they support. Oh, you thought I was talking about these forests? No, they're okay, but the forests I like to explore are underwater. a lower shore seaweed that forms vast, vast underwater forests. Giant kelp is often shown in documentaries. It's giant and massive and otters and seals and urchins all live and swim in it. But did you know that right here in the UK, we have seven species of kelp? That makes the UK the most diverse country in the entirety of Europe for their kelp species. But what is it that makes kelp so special? But what actually makes them special is the awesome ecosystem they form when they group together. They can do this because kelp is a super, super hardy species. They have these holdfasts, which are like plant roots that are able to grip and grow around rocks to make a really good tether onto the rocky shore. Their stipes, which is kind of the equivalent of plant stems, are really thick and really tough. And that means that they can really take a battering from the waves because they're anchored in and their stipe is super strong. In fact, some species can live their entire lives just within the holdfast of a kelp. That's because it provides so many nooks and crannies and protection for those individuals that they're just happy to live there. then has fronds which could be considered the, the leaf equivalent of a plant and they're giant and flat and form a mass surface area in the water some even grow taller than me i know i'm only five foot but still that's impressive you're not actually going to find that much on these kelp fronds. They release a slime to stop any pesky predators. They also release slime to try and stop anything settling on top of it. That's because kelp is a photosynthesizer, so it uses light from the sun to produce energy. So anything growing on these fronds are gonna block out some of that sunlight and reduce how much energy these organisms can make. One exception to this rule is the absolutely stunning and gorgeous blue rayed limpet. Although it's no bigger than a fingernail, it is totally worth checking out the fronds of kelp. You might not find much else on it, but if you find one of these, then you will find an absolute gem of the rocky shore. 
These fronds are able to flail about in the water and actually provide protection for the rest of the shore. You can see waves become completely dissipated as they make their way through the kelp beds. But really, on a lovely sunny day like this, this is not when kelp beds come into their own. When it really matters, when there's a big storm, and kelp can make all the difference between the survival of species on the rocky shore that rely on protection from these kelp beds. Hundreds and thousands of these in the water acting as wave buffers to protect the rest of the rocky shore. How incredible! So in these sheltered beds are the perfect place for juvenile fish species to live their early years. Sheltered and protected by these kelp fronds is also the perfect place for these fish to get some food. But they're not the only creatures to take advantage of feeding in the kelp beds. Here this lone lobster is making his way down to the lower shore kelp beds in hope of a tasty meal. This densely packed kelp bed is the perfect place for this lobster to try and sneak up on some prey. Kelp is not just helpful when it's alive, it's actually helpful when it's also dead. Kelp is an organic organism made of organic material and this stores a lot of nutrients. So when it dies, it releases this nutrients back into the sea as microorganisms come to decompose it and also opportunistic snails that decide that this is going to have a healthy snack. This nutrient that goes back into the water is actually fueling the next generation of kelp and all the other rocky shore species around. So we've seen that this wonderful kelp has helped the entire ecosystem. It's helping the tiny, small organisms that want to live in its hold fast. It's providing fisheries and nurseries for all the young juvenile species of fish. And it's actually protecting the rest of the entire rocky shore. Can kelp really get any more wonderful? Yes. Not only is it helping all these marine creatures, it's helping us too. The kelp is a photosynthetic organism and during that process of producing energy from the sun, it's also taking in carbon dioxide into its body. Now, all the kelp around the entire globe is actually estimated to take in more carbon dioxide than the entire emissions of Australia. And Australia is the 13th largest emitter on the planet. So that's a lot. So while humans have been making climate change worse and we haven't been able to fix it yet, these unbelievably helpful organisms have been trying to give us a helping hand along the way. I hope you can just take a second to absolutely, no, take more than a second, take 10 whole minutes to understand um, and appreciate this amazing marine environment. And 
I am so glad that I am not the only one that thinks this ecosystem is so amazing. In recent years, there have been plans to dredge kelp beds to completely rip and remove the ecosystem. But luckily, Scotland have recognised these as priority marine features and they are now protected. Luckily for you, that means that these kelp beds are going to be here hopefully for thousands of years to come so that you can come and explore yourselves.